Hello, Caitlin. Okay, I have your first uh, white on white here. Now, you still have wrinkles in your background. You still haven't gotten seamless. Bad girl, Caitlin. It's week four. And I, I guess you're not going to get it at this point. But you should get it because it'll come in handy in uh, advanced studio. If you, if you plan to go further in studio, you've got to have it. At any rate, uh, you have the right idea here. You have nice modeling from light to dark here. Your key is coming from this side. Okay, and you have a shadow here. Nice separation here on the shadow side. You have a soft, your shadow is softened. So you have some fill. <coughs> but the idea is to um, make the background a wash. So it should be even lighter, like so. Okay, you see the difference? It should be lighter, like so. And, and your owl should be darker relative to that, like so. I mean, I'm exaggerating. Maybe not that dark. But that's how you get the separation. If you look at what Tanya did, see, she had a spotlight here and the chair is darker. And that's what the assignment called for, that kind of separation. A high tone wash background. So, um, okay, so that's, for, that's it for that one. The black on black, you did well. You still ha you haven't got black seamless. I see wrinkles back here. Uh, so there is some light hitting the background, but you basically did a pretty good job of, of just concentrating the light on the black book and keeping it off the background. The wrinkles spoil your shot, unfortunately, but you, nonetheless, your black on black, uh, in your black on black, you did a better job than with the white on white. Um, here is the ideal black on black. See, the, black, the background just totally falls out. So you keep the light concentrated on the object. Here's the ideal white on white. See a darker object and a wash background. So keep these things in mind. Uh, you did a decent job. It needs some tweaking, but uh, you're, you're okay. So far, so good. All right, Caitlin. Take care. Talk to you soon.